Okay, today we're going to demonstrate how to use Google Earth to survey a rural address for um, potential providing of a wireless broadband device with an external aerial. And in this we'll see how to find the nearest tower, the distance to the tower and the bearing to the tower and also if there's any obstructions or terrain that needs to be considered. First thing we'll do is we'll open Google Earth. You'll notice Google Earth on this computer zooms into a starting location that has been loaded into this machine. The starting location is Lockhart in New South Wales. You can define your own starting location by installing a placemark using the icon, the little plus icon on the add placemark on the top menu list. And after you've placed your icon, you can then select it and go up to the view menu and say, make this my start location. This means that Google Earth will always open and zoom into this location, which makes it just faster to get started. We're going to use a sample location near Henty, New South Wales. We just enter this into the heading across the top. and press enter. Now often Google Earth only approximates the address in the rural area but this is fine because usually the farmer or local person uh, gets interested at this point and can actually zoom in with you and help you find their property. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. And we're lucky in this example The farm is straight up Jennings Road onto the dirt track and he's actually on screen now. So we will get a place marker, we click the little yellow marker point and it sticks it straight onto the farm and we can actually drag it and place it directly on top of the property. We can then name the property, at this point I'll put the name of the farm in rather than the owner's name. We could put the owner's names down in the detail. Um, this is not shown on screen, so there is some benefits in terms of protecting customer details by placing them down here. And maybe their contact numbers. As an example. That is then saved. We can then move over to our uh, map screen options and we can actually lift the map right up. And because we already have the mobile phone towers shown as targets on our map, we can actually draw a line using the ruler icon. We can draw a line from the pen mark down to the nearest tower and then if you wish you can save that but it's showing us here the distance is about 5.93 kilometers from their house to the mobile phone tower and we can save that. Now we could name it if we wish we'll leave it, uh, we'll call it bearing to coal can tower and select OK. Now if we wish we can actually zoom in on that and we can learn some more information about that link there. We can for instance rotate the map. I'm using the shift and right arrow key to do this or you can use the compass keys up on screen to do it. You can also lay the map down by using the shift and down arrow and this actually allows you to look in at the, at the location and see if there's any terrain affecting this connection. This might show a hill or a lump 
And interestingly, there is a small hill near the farm just here that needs to be considered. It's not large, but it's possible that that could shield the signal as it comes from the mobile phone tower along the flat terrain over that lump of dirt to the farm at Eden Park. It's only a very, very low hill, but it is worth considering. And the signal from the tower works a bit like the line. If that was more of an issue, if we press the U key, the map stands vertically, and we can then zoom in over the top, and we can scroll back to have a look at the whole route again. It's short range, six kilometres, but the piece of dirt is an issue. Let's zoom back and look at an alternative location. Because a cleaner shot on a reasonable distance might be better than going over the hill. So we can also draw another line to the other location. If we go from the house to the tower, it gives us a compass bearing as well as the distance. So the heading is just short of directly north. I'll realign the map to show that. So you press N on the keyboard, takes your map to look directly north and south. So as you can see, Eden Park, the service is 11.8 kilometres from the Henty Field Day Tower and a bearing just west of north, which an installer would be able to use to, um, to set up. If we want, we can scroll the map again and we can look at that, that particular shot and it looks flatter than the other one. So we have two choices here. One is a short range connection, the other one is a short to medium range connection. So an antenna could do both jobs. This lets us choose two options to get a wireless broadband antenna for this home location. And it's as simple as that.